Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're coming here for the first time, my name is Maureen. I'm a non-EU trained nurse currently working and living in Switzerland. So I've spoken about the Swiss nursing recognition um, process and today I want us to discuss on whether it's worth it or not. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the cost. So we find that, the, uh, as I explained in my previous video, studying nursing costs 1,000 Swiss francs per year. So being that it's a three-year course, that means you pay 3,000 Swiss francs for the total training. Now, let's make a comparison with the indirect entry that we discussed about. And the indirect uh, nursing recognition costs 7,600 Swiss francs. Bear in mind that you've not added the cost you will incur during your placement. So, for example, um, you'll need things like transport. You'll have to have your lunch. You can argue and say that, okay, fine, that I will buy or I'll make, a, I'll make at home to, to cut down the costs. But don't forget there's transport and parking. These are things that can be very costly depending on where you're doing your internship. So the 7,600, actually, someone can do their degree course twice if they want to and still have change. So you have to put that in mind. Then also you can be able to, with the 7,600, you can be able to study the nursing afresh and even do a CAS, that is the Certificate of Advanced Studies. For example, I'll give you the example of uh, a CAS in uh, pediatrics. So for this, you pay 4,900 and of course, there's always the charge, the inscription fee of 200 uh, Swiss francs. But if you do the calculation of paying 3,000 Swiss francs, and when you talk about 3,000 Swiss francs, that's the amount you're paying, but you've not yet paid, you've not yet calculated the amount that you will be refunded, the amount you'll be given back as a student studying nursing. So basically, all in all, starting afresh is cheaper than having to do the recognition process. But there are things that you have to consider as well. Do you have the time to start afresh? Because that is three years of pure dedication. And um, the other topic is, uh, the other thing that I want to talk about after the cost is the job market. So you find that in most adverts, and now after I've finished uh, with this nursing recognition and uh, getting into Switzerland as a nurse or being in Switzerland and getting to practice as a nurse in Switzerland, I will talk about how to get a job, the sites that you use to get a job. So now let's get to the second point, which is the job market. So the job market mostly asks for degree nurses, the ASH or S. So you'll see now, I think there the, are the really many nurses that are stopping, especially after the COVID issue. And I think most of you understand the stress that came with it. So there are many nurses that are stopping. So when you look at the adverts now, you will see that they speak of the HRS first. And then they say, if you also, uh, you have a degree from another country, but that has been recognized in Switzerland. So now we almost have equal chances of getting a job in the market. So if you are uh, um, not trained in Switzerland and you get the ES NAS, you have to be open-minded. You have to be willing to start from anywhere, be it starting in the old people's home, um, starting in a small clinic. You have to be willing to start anywhere. And once you're in the system, then everything else will be much easier for you. Don't be a picky nurse. <laughs> Then getting to the salaries. So the degree nurses get an approximate starting salary of 6,297 a month. And this usually is calculated times 13 because there's the 13th month in Switzerland. Usually they say that helps people with paying their taxes and stuff like that. But yes, there's that 13th month. So it's 6,297 per month approximate because this depends on which canton you are in. For example, someone practicing in the canton Duvo gets a less salary than someone practicing in Geneva. And that's clear. 
So the OS nurse, so if you're not a degree nurse or you've been recognized and accepted as an OS nurse in Switzerland, you get an approximate salary of 5,600 Swiss francs. If you have had additional training, then you get a bit higher salary, which is 5,900. Then on the continuous studies, you'll see that I spoke about this CAS, DAS and MAS, which are the continuous advanced studies and um, uh, the things that you can do if you prefer to be in a specific area of nursing. And if you look on the sites of these schools offering these courses, they ask for someone with a degree in nursing. So um, if you do not have a degree in nursing, then they have to look they have to accept you per file so that means they'll check on your experience they'll see maybe you want to to do this certificate of advanced studies in pediatrics i i love talking about pediatrics you'll excuse me but it's an area of nursing that i i, I like so if for example you want to do a con, um, certificate of advanced studies in nursing in uh, pediatrics then you will have to be working already in a pediatric unit for them to accept you so these are the kind of exemptions exemptions that they have so but otherwise if you have the ashes it's a direct entry you can get into these courses so that's something also that you have to bear in mind if you'd like to to work in another area because not everyone likes working in old people's homes i understand it it's not that you're picky or what but uh, people like different areas of nursing. Not everyone wants to be a theater nurse. Not everyone wants to be uh, um, work in the labor unit. So it's really different. And therefore, for you to be able to choose easily what you want to study and be specialized in, if you do the ashes, you are in a better place. Then the recognition course. So did I like the recognition course? If I say no, I will be lying. But there are stuff that I found, um, I found that they really focused on the geriatrics. 70% of what we learned was based on geriatrics. Now, I do not blame them for focusing mostly on geriatrics, because if you look at the demographics, if you look at the, the chart that I just have on the side, you'll see that most of the population lies between 50 to 59 years. So for them to project ahead, it's good for them to plan by offering these courses to the nurses so that they don't fall short of, of trained personnel to take care of these people when they get old. So that's the reason why much of the training was focused on geriatrics. But there are also some very important things that we learn like the swiss law i was i was so happy to have a course on that because learning the swiss system is difficult being that they have different cantons and then almost each canton has a way of doing their things and then there's the federal part that joins them but then it was so difficult learning and we had someone who i think that guy was a judge or someone was a retired judge who gave us all the details about it so that was a very nice part we also had pharmacology but that was a very little bit of it which i found i i found a pity because uh, the pharmacological bit is very important for for nurses when you come maybe you have different medicines in your country you want to come here and see what do they have to offer in this country so i i, I found it a bit of a pity to have just a little bit of it it would have been more but then again that's how it's set up and the other thing I want to talk about, and this is the last thing, and this was the disappointing bit of this training, was the lack of clear Swiss Red Cross objectives. When you get in a class and you want to study something, the first thing that you have are your objectives. But this was so disappointing that you get a placement uh, a place for your placement and you asked for your object objectives to be sent by the Red Cross then it takes time I had my objectives sent three weeks into my placement and so I expected the objectives to be sent to me but me 
who will be meeting the objectives i don't have the right to have the objectives so that was something that i really found unpleasant so then the 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 nurse who was in charge of my uh, training received the objectives and we'd been waiting for these objectives for three weeks so you imagine you're in the clinic you're in the in the unit and you ask so what are your objectives by the nurses who want to help you out who you are working with and you tell them um just do with me anything that you think that uh, can be of help so it's it's a bit tricky and then you look like you're not focused you don't know what you really want but then being that they studied your file and they had experts looking into your file I believe these are things that they should have clear cut. They should be be sure that this is what they want and this is what you should achieve. And the first person to have the objectives should be you who is going to do the training. So this was something that I was not happy with. And when the person in charge of my training received them, they were not clear anyway. So he had to make his own objectives. So this is something I didn't like about this process. And so if you decide, you're not decided on, on whether you want to do the training afresh or you want to uh, get your training recognized, I think if you start afresh, you'll have clear-cut objectives because you're in a school and they have these objectives and you're going for the units and it will be a walk in the park for you because most of the things you have done and it will help you have a broader picture of the Swiss system and uh, of the nursing in Switzerland. So I would highly recommend for people who have time, I would highly recommend this. If I knew this before, I would have also taken this route. I think I would have taken this route because it makes things way easier for you if you're trained here. Looking for a job, the costs, the, 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 your training will be subsidized. So the 3000 amount you pay is totally not out of your pocket. And once you finish, you have the jobs just like that. But if you get this through the Red Cross uh, recognition, now it's getting easier. But when I finished, it was not easy. Everyone, when you go for interview, they're like, oh, but do you really know our system? And, oh, and, and they're just those excuses that are unpleasant. So it forces you to start where you don't like and work your way up to where you like. So that's my two cents for today, for someone who is thinking of whether to start afresh or to go through the nursing recognition system. So in my next video, I will discuss maybe about the nursing salaries in Switzerland and um, where to look for the jobs for those who want to hunt jobs in Switzerland. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bye till next time thank you